Today I'm going to be tackling a topic and something that makes a lot of people really uncomfortable for summertime and that is bathing suits. Now we all have our body insecurities. If you're 100% confident in a bathing suit then amazing, good for you, but not all of us are like that and it's a very like sensitive topic. So I figured in the spirit of summer, since summer is pretty much here for the majority of us anyway, I mean it's been summer here since like March, but that's besides the point. I thought it might be fun to try on some bathing suits and I'm actually going to be trying on all plus size bathing suits because as you guys know, for those of you that have been here, you already know the deal, but but I'm always going to give my honest upfront opinion. So I think I picked like 14 bathing suits to try on and all of these will be linked in the description box below if you want to shop any of these. So make sure you click down there. There will be shoppable links for everything. So okay, I've got a lot to try on and a lot to get done. So let's go ahead and get started. As a mid-sized gal, I'm kind of like right in between between a lot of plus size stuff in the smallest size is a little bit too big and a lot of standard sizes in the largest size is a little bit too small. So I've kind of been dipping my toe in the plus size waters a little bit and I've been enjoying trying it out and kind of like testing it. And this video is actually also in partnership with Boohoo. They reached out and asked to sponsor this video. So thank you so much to Boohoo. Starting from the very beginning, the first thing, which as you guys know, I'm like having a moment with leopard right now. The first thing I wanted to pick out was this high waisted two piece leopard bikini. All of these swimsuits by the the way for this entire video are going to be a US size 14, a UK size 18, and a lot of plus size sections that's the smallest size they have available so I wanted to try that out and in a lot of these I have to say I wish I would have sized down to a 12 but we'll get into that. And this one I like noticed this kind of little I guess you would call it like a tank top type of bikini top. I've just noticed that these are a lot more prevalent recently and I've really enjoyed it. I love how like shiny it is. It feels very 90s to me. I feel good in it. The bottoms are ever so slightly too too big. I think it looks really cute and I definitely am going to like put this number one on my list. Next we have a one piece and I saw this on the website and I was immediately drawn to it because I love this like one shoulder thing that's coming back. So this is a really cute pinstripe. I guess it's like a coral and a periwinkle color and I love this tie on the shoulder. I think this is so cute but the only issue I have with this swimsuit is because I am like less endowed in the boobies department I don't really fill this out all the way so on this side it's like a lot looser. I just feel like the cut is kind of weird like it goes straight across but it just kind of for me it like hangs out like that so it's just not the perfect fit but I am still gonna wear it and try to find a way maybe I can like hem it in like this I don't think that, that will be hard to do at all other than that I really love the cut of it I think it's beautiful colors I think it's gonna be really cute to have a variation of two pieces and one pieces this summer because I definitely have like a lot of one pieces but none like this so I am excited about this little baby next we have a red number and every time I see a red bathing suit I'm always gravitated towards it. I don't know. I grew up like in the Baywatch era. I just think it's really sexy and cute. And so I picked out this two piece red number and it's got this white lining. And so the only thing that like is kind of annoying is that when you put it on the white lining, there's no way to really like make sure that the white lining doesn't show because it's very loose. So it does kind of creep up. But honestly, after I had it on, it didn't really bother me at all. And then the top is this little like tie top. And I had to tie it a lot tighter because I've had this issue anytime I've tried on any kind of plus size item, especially a top. A lot of times people assume that if you're plus size, you're like, you have huge boobs, like triple D's or whatever. I think I'm like more of a B or a C. So I definitely like had to tie this a lot tighter to make sure it fit, but this is like really cute. I was really surprised with how good it looked on. I was kind of nervous about it when I picked it out, but I was like, I'm gonna branch outside of my comfort zone and I'm really glad I did. Speaking of hot colors, we have a like Malibu Barbie pink moment here. I don't know if I realized how neon this was when I picked it out, but I'm kind of living for it. And it is this kind of like bandeau, high-waisted. It's a really pretty and like really soft, kind of like ruchy, stretchy material. High cut bikini bottom with the bandeau top. I think that this looks surprisingly amazing. I typically because my boobs, like I'm wearing a, like a little strapless bandeau right now, but my boobs don't really have the perfect shape or whatever, so I was nervous about this kind of top, but it does look cute. It's slightly big, but like I'm going to be able to wear it for sure. What I might do is the suits that are a little bit too big on me, just like run them through the dryer really good, and then hopefully they'll shrink up a little bit, but I really like the way it looks. I'm going to feel super confident in it. Next we have a yellow number because I as you guys know, I just love yellow. 
my bedspread is yellow, my purse is yellow, I have yellow shoes, my nails are yellow at the moment. Like, it's just my favorite color. So I picked out this yellow high-waisted number. I mean, I can't do anything not high-waisted. It's just like, it's not, I, I'm unable to physically anymore. I'm like, get this off, give me something high-waisted immediately. And so these are the bottoms. They are this really pretty yellow color. And the top to go with it is the same kind of like tank top cut. And I think it's really cute. I do want to say that this material is very, very thin. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for like a really thick, sturdy bathing suit material. Some of these have it, but like these, for example, these two pieces are a lot more thin. So that's just something to keep in mind, but that doesn't bother me at all. Cause like, honey, I want to be naked at the pool practically. This next one I was the most apprehensive about, but actually kind of the most surprised by. Anything with a structured like bra top makes me nervous, especially from the plus size section because it's always way, way too big for me, which this is, but it actually looks really cute on. And then it has the matching high-waisted bottoms to go with it, which are really cute. And it's this really, really light kind of mint color, almost like a Tiffany blue color. And I thought this might be fun as just something a little different. It's definitely not like my typical style, especially this type of top. I thought maybe having something a little more structured with support might be nice for the pool on occasion. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some space in between, but I think I can get away with wearing it. I just wish that there was a way to buy a bathing suit, not mix and match, but like to buy a bathing suit together, but like customize the size of tops and bottoms, you know? But either way, it's a really cute suit and I'm definitely gonna find a way to wear it. Next, we have a striped number, which you guys know I love my stripes. And these bottoms are like this kind of almost like lime green. I don't even know this, like it's booger green maybe, if you will. A little bit thicker of a material than the other ones I was talking about, so I like that. And it's got this little kind of flowy, flouncy top, if you will, I think is what it's called. It's got adjustable straps, which is great if you have like a bigger chest or a smaller chest. Or for me, I just have like a big space between my boobs and my shoulder. Like I need more room. I think it's just because I'm taller. So I like that I can adjust these to the size that I need. Surprisingly, I actually really love this color. Like I kind of thought, well, let's just try a few random ones and see how they work out. And this one actually looks really cute on. Next, we have an orange number, which if you guys know, I love my orange. I'm having a moment with orange right now. It's like right up there with yellow. I don't know. I just was gravitated towards it and wanted to try it. So it's got these kind of like cherry blossoms, kind of almost like Asian inspired type of flowers on them. And then the top to go with it is again, another one of these tanks. It's a lot thinner of a material. Never probably would have picked it out. Just decided to go for it because why not? And like, I'm really pleased. So definitely a PSA to step outside your comfort zone and try other things. This is definitely a little big, but at least as far as the bottoms go, but I'm still gonna definitely, like I said, you know, wear it, make it work. Next, we have a black and white one because I have a lot of color going on in this haul. So I was like, okay, let's scale it back a little bit, do something a little more muted, even though it's like a really loud print. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. But as you guys know, I live in Arizona. I go to California all the time. I love my palm trees. So this is a palm tree printed bikini. This is a high-waisted, semi-high cut bottom. And then it's got this little crisscross bandeau top that I think is really adorable. And surprisingly, I mean, if you had big boobs, I don't even know if you could wear this. Like this is perfect for my chest size. So I was really pleased by this. And it does come with straps that you can wear like around as a halter or whatever. I just like a strapless moment because like, and get away with it and I enjoy it. So I was really pleasantly surprised about that top fitting. And then again, these bottoms are a little bit too big, especially around the waist area, but I do love them and they're really cute. Next, we have a very unique one that again, was stepping outside my comfort zone, trying something outside of my style. And well, first of all, this print is adorable. It's lemons, so like, Yes, immediate yes in my cart, in my life. But the thing that's cool about it is the top is like this off the shoulder looking top and it has this little gathered area where you can tie it in the front. And I just find this to be so adorable and so different. I mean, this would be great for like a night swim or a pool party where you're in the shade or something because I don't know about these tan lines and that situation that you would get yourself into. But other than that, I just think that this is so fun and unique. And I've been seeing a lot of bathing suits like this recently. So I knew I had to get my hands on one kind of reminds me of almost a like 60s era bathing suit and I just think that's really fun and unique. Next we have a really fun, really, really pretty. This is definitely one of my favorites that I tried on and it is a halter bathing suit that has this little like scalloping detail on the side. It's almost is kind of, I guess you could say tie-dyed, but it sort of looks like marbled and the bottoms are the same exact thing. They have the scalloping all over them and I just think they're so pretty. It's really flattering. I would say that probably out of the majority of these that I tried 
tried that this one is one of the most flattering. Just felt very confident when I had it on. I would wear it to the pool like right now today. I mean, I would wear any of these, but this would probably be one of the ones that I would gravitate towards the most. I think my all-time favorites are this one and the very first leopard bikini. Next, we have a little two-piece. These came in a two set together, so they're just two basic one pieces that I think are great to have in your collection. The first one is this kind of like, I wouldn't say it's exactly truly like a leopard print because it's just kind of one solid color with black dots on it, but it is like a almost peachy nude color, which is very pretty. And then it just also came with a basic black one that again, you can't go wrong having. It's like a throw and go type of thing. I also sometimes wear these just like as a top and I put on denim shorts and I head out the door. So very multi-purpose, very excited. Just having a couple basics in your collection or in your wardrobe is a really good idea. Oh God. I'm fine. Whew. And then last but not least, we have this like striped, it almost kind of now that I'm like thinking about it, I'm kind of annoyed because I'm from Tennessee and these are Auburn colors, but it's okay. I still love everyone. I mean, I don't really care at all about sports, <laughs> but that's just something that I just noticed when I was holding this up, but it's a really cute one piece. Again, just kind of a classic to have. I really love these stripes. I would definitely wear this as a bodysuit when I'm out and about like gonna definitely do that 100%. What I really appreciate about plus size one pieces is that they're, for some reason, they're always like long enough for me. And when I go to Target, I'll wear an extra large in a bathing suit and it fits, but it's like ever so slightly too tight in like the crotchal region because I'm just so tall and my torso is so long. So I really like that about this. It didn't feel that way at all. It felt just long enough, but not too long to where like the sleeves were falling off. It's a really good fit for me and I like the colors a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to shop any of these items or anything in the new in collection, as I mentioned in the beginning, check the links below. You can twin with me this summer if you want. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.